What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword Walkthrough. Oh, yes, and happy 10-year uh, year anniversary right here on my channel. Yes, guys, well, this this episode drops on uh, on Sunday. So, yesterday, December 19th, 2020, marks the 10-year anniversary of this channel when it began, began as Draven XE711, now Gym Leader Draven. Now... I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart to every single one of you guys who have stayed with me from, you know, the very beginning to the middle and to right now. I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you guys. Now, in this episode, yes, it is part two right here into the uh, wild area. I did say that, yeah, we're going to be battling a lot, a lot of Dynamax Pokemon, capturing a lot of Pokemon. Yes, this is a first, there's, there's always a first time for everything, guys, and... I completely forgot how wow how long it is just to get to Moto Stoke uh, because there's just a lot of Pokemon that you can actually find right here. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We're going to be leveling up our Pokemon, evolving some, and battling some Dynamax Pokemon. Now, in the last episode, I did mention that if you're battling some big Pokemon right here, be careful, especially at this age or this this part of the the game. You won't have a chance. These guys will be at level I would like to say 20 to 30. So, take your chances if you will, but yeah, these guys are going to mess you up, and uh, it is no joke. So, what we're going to do right here is we're going to try and capture as many Pokemon as possible, visit some different places, and then after that, uh, make our way to Moto Stoke. I don't like leaving places uh, under the Butterfree flying around. It won't... I think it, if it notices you, it will attack you or anything like that, but right now... What I'm going to try and do is I'm actually trying to grab a uh, grab all the Watts, defeat all the ma the Dynamax Pokemon you can actually find, the Dynamax Pokemon you can actually find, and capture as many as possible. As you can see, there are some Pokemon right here that you can actually find, and yes, they're going to try and find you. So, eh, okay, so I don't want two Pokemon, two of these Pokemon to actually attack me. So, let's see, we're in the rolling fields right now. This will actually lead us down to the South Lake Milloc, or Milock. And as you can see, there is an, uh, I can't remember what the name of the Pokemon is called, but yeah, you don't want this guy attacking you or anything like that. So, yeah, we're going to be talking shop right here, guys. A lot of shop. And that is uh, just a few good memories of what had happened when I began this channel right here. One of which was that, you know, when I first when I first had the idea of making this channel, it was very simple, guys. Uh, I had it all written down. It was very exciting for me because what got me into uh, YouTubing was the channel Light Dark Neutral. Now, if you guys don't remember who Light Dark Neutral was, uh, he was, I guess he was one of the original YouTubers. The one that, you know, made YouTubing, Poketubing uh, pretty cool. I watched... I guess his first walkthrough that I actually watched was Pokemon... I want to say it was Pokemon uh, Soul Silver, And I think it was when Pokemon Soul Silver came out. When I first watched this guy do his walkthroughs, he was so fluent. He was actually very, very good at just being original and all that stuff. He didn't have any of these backgrounds or anything that you, that you would normally see in normal walkthroughs. The guy just, you know... He knew how to do his walkthroughs. He made it exciting, including his intros and all that stuff. And look at that. We found ourselves a Steelix, something that you don't want to, or a Pokemon you don't want to mess with right now. And now this guy right here will actually sell you Timer Balls, Sludge Bomb, Iron Defense, Focus Blast, Hurricane, and Leech Life. Now, in the last episode, I did explain that TRs are basically, you know, what TMs used to be back in the day. You can only have, well... You know, you only have one chance to actually use them and all that stuff. So be, yeah, you know, be mindful of who you use it with. Now, what was I saying? There was something else. Yeah, Light Dark Neutral. Uh, yeah, he was, you know, he, he knew how to do his walkthroughs and all that stuff. The other thing, too, Homeboy was from Mexico. He did have a bit of an accent, but we did know how to, like, everybody knew how to comprehend what he was saying and all that stuff. And holy crap. Okay, so we got uh, these Pokemon right here ready to attack us. Yeah, they will be following you. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to swap them out for Optimus because I want to evolve Optimus in this episode right here too. Again, giant Pokemon right here. Do not battle them. And this guy is not giving me a... Okay, come on. Walk away. Walk away, Raiden. Walk away. 
Walk away. He's taking like two steps and everything. Okay, come on. Walk away. Alright, here we go. We're gonna get some brand or some Pokemon food right here. That's one. And here we go, two. And I am not gonna get anything else because it looks like to me the that Pokemon's gonna come down and just swipe my food. So yeah, like I was saying guys, Light Dark Neutral was from Mexico and he he was pretty much the go-to channel that I went to in order to go watch like Heart Gold, Soul Silver, uh, Fire Red. I believe he did Emerald, or I think he did Sapphire. One of those two. And look at this. We're gonna be finding the TM81 Bulldoze. It's a very good move. And well, let's see. Now, if you see a farmer right here in any of these areas, you will be able to battle this Pokemon trainer. So I guess I should probably switch out again. We do need to battle level up our Pokemon. I did say that we were gonna do that. I'm crazy strong and a flush and a cash. Why don't you battle? Why won't you battle me? How about you? How about you? Dare to take me on? All right, let's go right ahead and see what we are all about now. This Pokemon trainer is strong. Now we're just gonna lose right there and then. So here we go, going up against Pokemon Breeder uh, Chloe. She will be starting out with the starter Pokemon. So luckily for me, I did come out with Shadow Blade right here. And, well, there is lightning around the area, so let's go right ahead and use what well, what we can use best. And, yeah, it does have branch uh, poke right there. So here we go. Going to poke this guy right here with a peck attack. And you know what? We're going to use Home Claws just to uh, raise up its attack just a little bit. So we will be getting hit just maybe once or twice. So there it is. Increasing our attack and our accuracy. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so let's go ahead, peck attack, and we're going to be getting another scratch right here. So, yeah, we got to beat this guy pretty quickly right here. So, here we go, bam, nearly takes this guy out. So, let's go straight to the bag and use a potion. Luckily for us, we did buy enough just to get through this whole area right here. Alrighty, so let's see, Shadow Blade getting its HP restored, and here we have a scratch attack. And that looked like a... Uh, that actually looked like to me like a critical hit. So here we go again. Yeah, we're going to be struggling just a little bit, guys, because, uh, you know, we didn't capture any of the Pokemon in the last episode. Again, this is a walkthrough. <laughs> it is what it is, guys. So here it is. We're getting our, yeah, we're getting our points increased right here. So here you come out, or she's going to come out with Score Bunny. Luckily for us, Michelangelo is with us. We're going to be kicking some butt right now. Okay. Let's go. Michelangelo. Of course, I named him, it, it, it's translated Michelangelo, because we didn't have enough space for the whole thing. Now, look at that. This score bunny right here is just like hoppity, hoppity, hoppity. Now, if I were to get a score bunny, if you guys would have chosen for me to get score bunny, I probably would have named him Bugs Bunny or something. I don't know. Rod Rabbit or something. I don't even know. But I do have a score bunny in the shield version, so I might bring one over. I might bring it over like the baby form. That way I can have, you know, two of the three starter Pokemon. I don't know. That might be it. I, I might nickname him something. What could a good nickname for a Score Bunny be? Comment down below, guys. And look at that. We defeated this guy. And our Pokemon are finally growing levels like they should. And Shadow Blade is finally learning a new move. So we're going to be taking out the Leer attack right here. Alrighty. Okay. Look at that. Okay. So we're learning some new moves. And she's going to be coming out with a Sobble. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go with Leah. Probably should have gone with the other Pokemon. Good gravy. We don't have a, a proper electric type attack right here. So, All right. Here we go. Leah. My good old buddy. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, great. He's going to be using Leah again on this team. No. Eventually, I'll be putting her back in the box. I will be retraining her and all that stuff. There will be some jobs that she'll be using or be doing to gain some more experience points and all that stuff. So it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty good. So let's go right ahead and do a quick attack right here since we're now faster than this guy. And yeah, that is not helping us out right now. So okay, so we're gonna have to switch out our Pokemon right here. So let's go with Optimus Prime. Now, for those who are new watching this episode, why did I name this Pokemon Optimus? If you guys don't remember, Beast Wars. Optimal Optimus was the gorilla, so you know what? Might as well name him that. And let's go right ahead and use a Razor Leaf attack right here. 
Look at that, Sobble. You have been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, and more experience points for all of our Pokemon right here. Look at that. Everybody's growing a level. Balto even grows a level here, too. And Chloe has been defeated. And she's like, you must be pretty amazing to have beaten me. You're a regular wild area expert. And we get more money, which is good. And, well, we are crazy strong. She'll teach us a trip. There are heaps of items lying around the wild area that people have dropped. Go around picking them up and selling them off, and you'll, you'll be flush with cash, too. I'll work on getting even stronger, so come find me in another battle yet. Alrighty. So, like she said, we will be finding some items on the ground, and, uh, well, we can sell them. Actually, you know what? If you take a look at your bag right here, guys, there is a section right here where you can actually sell most of the treasures as you can see we could sell most of these stuff right away and get more money as well as much money as we want uh here we have the tmtrs and right here other items this area right here or this part right here you can actually keep you know extra experience candies dynamax candies even rare candies now experience candies will actually give your pokemon a little bit more experience points that way it could be easier for you to actually grow them and all that stuff now this is probably something that i probably should have done in the beginning but looks like to me i won't be able to capture any of these pokemon probably should have started at the other end right here but it is what it is right now again i will be coming back to these areas to capture most of these pokemon right here now what i was saying guys uh... the poke or the poke youtuber they got me into this was, uh, you know, light, dark, neutral. And, well, what ended up happening with light, dark, neutral? Uh, eventually, light, dark, neutral shut down his channel. Uh, rumor has it that, you know, he wanted to focus a little bit more onto his schooling since he was finally getting into college and all that stuff. I believe he was one of the very first to get, like, I would like to say 100,000 subscribers and all that stuff. This was way before the whole, uh, what was it called, uh, yeah, this was way before the whole partnering thing. Now, as you can see right here, there's bubbles going around. If you press it, if you press the A button, it will say this. If you see shadows in the water, you'll likely find Pokemon lurking beneath them. Face such a shadow and press the A button to cast your line and try to uh, fish, up a, uh, fish up a catch. If your fishing rock shakes, press the A button one more to reel in the Pokemon. Try fishing wherever you, you spot these shadows. So, I'm going to go ahead and fish for this Pokemon right here. And look at that. More likely it's going to be a Magikarp. Nope, it is a Shelder. Look at this guy. Okay. And it said a strong looking Shelder. Now, we got a little bit of an issue. It is at level 34. We won't be able to dent it. So, unfortunately for us, we're going to have to use one of the Poke Dolls right here to get away because we do not want to faint. So, that right there is was a kind of a kind of a waste of a pokey doll so if I'm not mistaken this is probably the wrong side to be at right now because most of these Pokemon are strong I mean I did see the evolution of uh, of time pool I believe so we're gonna have to get the heck out of here I do see a uh, a, a, a by sharp right there so I do not want to mess with that guy and wow yeah we are in big danger right here so we're going to be going to the other side, not mess with any of these Pokemon right now. And look at that. You can find Gyaradoses right there. As you can see, there are more rocks that you can actually uh, you can actually get more Wads. Eventually, when you get your bike, you'll be able to modify it in order to actually get through the whole area right here, including the water. Now, I'm going to try... You know what? Screw it. Let's go ahead and start capturing some Pokemon because... Yeah, my collection is getting a little uh, a little small right here. So, let's see. First, first of all, we actually have to heal up our Pokemon right here. So let's go ahead and use some potions. And there's a potion right there for that guy. And of course, Leah needs to get some leveling up right here too. So, uh, let's go ahead and capture this guy. So look at that, we are encountering a Snover right here. And what right now the only chance that we got is uh you know our Shadow Blade. So we're gonna have to try and uh get this guy. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, that ain't gonna work at all. Holy crud. 
Yeah, we we are at a total disadvantage right now. Holy crap, baskets on a crapsicle stick. Whew, okay. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and use the next Pokemon. Yes, we are not up to the level right here. So let's go ahead and bring out... You know what? Let's go bring out Eevee. And... I believe Eevee, Eevee does have a good move right here. Sand Attack. No, it's not. So let's go ahead and run away right here. We do have that move, so... <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Holy crud. Okay, so we we need to uh yeah, we need to train our Pokemon. And luckily for me, I did buy a revive for this occasion. So we need we need to get the heck out of here. We have gone a little too far. We need to progress first before we even get into these areas right here. Okay, so like I was saying, guys. Yeah. Uh, light dark neutral close this channel and from there it opened up uh, it pretty much opened up my, my like uh, well it opened it up for some other youtubers out there now the next person that I would see I don't know if he's still going on or not because I don't know guys on and off and all that all that stuff but the next youtuber I would be watching would be Luroy in Everybody knows who Leroy is. He he's probably one of the oh, another OG uh, YouTuber out there. But the guy actually he was very descriptive, very knowledgeable about his Pokemon and all that stuff. Loved watching his uh, loved watching his his videos and all that stuff. I believe the very first walkthrough that I actually decided to watch was uh, Pokemon Leaf Green, and that's what pretty much solidified it. I'm gonna do walkthroughs. I don't know how, but I need to find out how. And uh, from there, watch the Sapphire wa walk through, and then you know it, it just took off from there. I had it all in paper, guys, on how I was gonna do it. I was very excited, and you know what? That was actually a to me that was actually a New Year's resolution. That you know what? This is what we're gonna do for the first uh, of January of 2011. I'm gonna come out with a Pokemon uh, channel. Originally, I was planning on actually, you know, I was actually planning on doing a camcorder to camcorder to Game Boy Advance, and then the magic of YouTube happened. I learned how to record things via emulator and all that stuff, and from there, it all took off. Now, the original plan, and that's this is I've already explained this uh, once or twice. The original plan was to actually do as many walkthroughs as possible, like, you know, different kinds of games like Yu-Gi-Oh, Mario, uh, whatever, you know, I had in mind, and yeah, it didn't really work because I, I soon realized that, you know, I didn't really play that many games as a kid. I was always an outside, uh, like, an outdoors kid, and look at that, Vanilla Light captured, getting experience points, yes, finally. Okay, so what do we got right here? Ice type Pokemon, fresh snow Pokemon, unable to survive in the hot areas. It makes itself comfortable by breathing out uh, air cold enough to cause snow. It burrows into the snow to sleep. Okay, it's a pretty good Pokemon, and we're gonna be sending this guy to the PC. So, like, like I said, guys, I'm gonna be collecting Pokemon, getting experience points, and then making our way right over there. So, what I was saying, yeah, there, there was a, you know. There was a little bit of doubt too because uh, I was like, well, I don't have enough like knowledge about other games, and you know, me playing games right off the bat was kind of a bad idea. The only games that I really played and they were very repetitive was either Pokemon games or you know, Pokemon games or sports games, and I don't think anybody wanted to watch sports games right here. Now, here we're going to be battling a Bug and Ground type Pokemon. Obviously, it's going to be a Ninkata now. Here's something that you guys need to understand. If you see the star rating right there onto the left side corner, that is the quality of Pokemon that you're going to be battling. The higher the star rating, the harder it will be. So right now we're, you know, we're just going to be battling an easy Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and, you know, Dynamax this whole thing right here. Now here's another thing that I I failed to mention. Now eventually we're going to be battling some Dynamax Pokemon of the same kind that I have right now. If if I somehow manage to find a Pokemon of the same kind that does have a Dynamax capability, 
for instance, Michelangelo right here doesn't have that, and I find one that does, then, well, you know, I'm going to be switching them. That's just the harsh truth, but I'm not going to be releasing the Pokemon. It's just going to be there. So let's go right ahead and Dynamax this whole thing right here. Alrighty, so we get the idea. We're going to be Dynamaxing, guys, and I'm going to be telling a story about how this whole 10 year thing came to be. I hope you guys are not that bored or anything like that. Look at that. Look at that bug tooth. So cute. Okay. So, yeah, guys. It, that's kind of what I was thinking. Just like, you know, New Year's resolution and, oh my god, getting my butt kicked by this guy. Holy crap. Oh, crap. So, here we go with the Max Geyser. Okay, here we go. And it takes a nice amount of its uh, HP. The next one, I won't be surviving and... I kind of think if we faint, then it wins or something. So here's a Fire Lash. Do a wow. And please, okay, it's so the fence goes down, and here comes a sur Solar Beam. What the hell, man? Ah, oh, crap, we're going to lose. And a Giga Drain. Wow, these guys, are, these guys are not helping me out right now. And Ninketa is going to be using its Harden. Do you not know why it looked like it was going to attack, so that kind of helped me out a little bit. So here we go, another Max Geyser. And okay! <laughs> Alrighty. And Fire Lash. Damn it. Okay. Should have beaten this guy right, over, right away. And here comes that Solar Beam, and there it is. Ninkata has been defeated. I'm going to capture this guy. Of course, I'm going to be capturing any any and every Dynamax Pokemon. It doesn't really matter if you have doubles, guys. Just go ahead and capture that Pokemon. So here we go. Pokeball, let's get this. Look at that. Alrighty. And there's three. Throwing out that peace sign, guys. I'm throwing out the mother-loving peace sign. There we go. So there is another Pokemon that we captured, and it's prizes. We get more experience candies and a drill run attack. Okay, so that is actually going to be very beneficial to us when we're going to need some ground type attacks. And look at that, Ninkata, the trainee Pokemon, bug and ground type Pokemon. Because it lived almost entirely underground, it is nearly blind. It uses its antenna instead. Huh, no wonder. Okay, so let's see the summary on Ninkata right here. Now, this guy is at level 15. We could be switching up these Pokemon just to have a stronger team, but I choose not to. I'm just, you know, going to train the Pokemon up just a little bit, especially off-screen. Okay, so back to the story right here. If I can remember where I was at. This is me, guys. I go off in tangents. I'm sorry if it's annoying. It's whatever. But like I was saying, guys, uh... Wow, there's going to be a lot of stuff that I need to talk about, but... Okay, so, if you guys can see that there is a Pokemon right there glowing, like a Super Saiyan. That Pokemon is special in a way because it will be able to... It will be able to give you a little bit more... Well, it will be able to give you Watts after you defeat it or capture it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually battle this guy. Super Saiyan Vanilla Okay, so back to the tangent. Sorry, guys. I'm very, 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 very sorry. So, what ended up happening right here, guys, was that, you know, I I was planning on doing this. And, yes, thanks to YouTube, I finally figured out how to make all these YouTube videos. The only problem was that I didn't have, like, the... Can the, the didn't have the, the programs that I have now. Again, a lot of... A lot of the things that you see right here, guys, is years of built-up, uh, you know, built-up stuff that I actually acquired throughout this whole adventure right here. It takes time, guys. It really does take time. And look at that. We gained ourselves 166 watts. We're going to get the heck out of the way because we're going to be getting attacked right here. Um, and it all started with, like, the original, uh, the original, uh, whatchamacallit. It all started with the original computer. I did it, I recorded uh, most of the videos via the VBA, you know, emulator. It does have the capability of, you know, recording it by itself. The only problem, whoa, Dragon-type Pokemon. I think I know what this guy is. Okay, hold on. 
There, is, this is a dragon type Pokemon. This calls for Clefa right here, so let's go right ahead and use that guy. I've been looking for you for quite some time. I have been looking for you. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and start battling. I am going to. Yes, I have been looking for this Pokemon for quite some time, guys. So, say hello to our little friend, Axu. And as many of you guys already know who this guy is. We named him Bonesaw in our last walkthrough, which I will be naming him once I capture him. So, here we go with a drought. And I do have a good Pokemon to actually beat this guy right here. So, here we go. Let's Dynamax this bitch. Okay, so, look at that. It has Max Starfall. Let's go right ahead and Dynamax our Clefa right here. Now there is a huge benefit to actually capturing these Dynamax Pokemon. They are useful if you battle them again. And you can actually switch them out anytime you want now that you have the Pokemon box right here. So look at this. Clefa, now ours. It's about to have its way with this Axu right here. And Halucha just lowering its attack right there. Look at this guy. And, well, let's see, it's going for a max strike. Not much, of, not very effective. Yeah, not effective at all. Look at that. And, well, I am losing a little bit of our speed right there. So here we go, max starfall. Hopefully this will actually do it for us. And it takes a huge chunk out of Axu's uh, HP right here. And it purifies the whole place. Okay, alrighty. And here comes a life dew. Hopefully, okay, so that heals up our Pokemon. Halucha is getting something, and then we got two other Pokemon that can actually attack right here. So here we go, flamethrower for Torkoal. There we go. And let's finish this guy off with the Max Starfall. What is this guy doing? What the hell? It nullified the stat. Oh wow, okay, so here comes a slash attack. Not so effective, but here comes a flying uh, press. These guys are chomping at the bit right here. And here we go with the Max Starfall for the win. Trust me, guys. You don't know how how much this guy means to me right here. Because I've been trying to locate this guy in Pokemon Shield. But now that we can actually find him right here. Fuck yeah. Let's go ahead and capture this guy. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Happy 10 year anniversary, and yes guys, this is one of the Pokemon that I will be trying to use and, you know, switch around here now and then. Hell, I'll even try and breed this guy and send him over to Pokemon Shield. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Look at that guys, we caught ourselves Axu, also known as Bonesaw. Look at that, and look at the stuff that we got. Oh wow, we got Dragon Claw and a big, oh wow. Okay, so we, we hit the jackpot with this Pokemon right here. And, well, here's Axu, the Tusk Pokemon, Dragon-type Pokemon, our very first Dragon-type Pokemon. These Pokemon nest in the ground and use their tusks to crush hard berries. Crushing berries is also how they test each other's strength. And, yes, we are going to give this guy a nickname. You guys already know him. You'll love him. Or her. We're going to be naming this guy Bonesaw. And uh, hopefully we can actually put them on our team for just a tad bit right here. So here we go, guys. Welcome back, Bonesaw. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this guy's summary right here. Now that we got a Dragon-type Pokemon at level 17, it does have rivalry, and it does have a nice attack right there. So let's go right ahead and put this guy on our team. Let's see. Add him to the team. Who should we swap out? Let's see. <sighs> okay, so I'm thinking I'm gonna I'm gonna be switching out. I don't want to switch out a Leo right now, so let's go ahead and switch out Eevee for the time being. Again, most of these Pokemon will be trained up and just you know become better. Look at that, we got ourselves a pretty good Pokemon right here. Let's see. Bone Saw it does have one HP, so we might have to go back to go go heal it. But this guy right here. He is now giving us, uh, you know, an advantage, so let's go right ahead and just take care of business right here. Uh, let's see. So what, where was I? Yeah, January 1st, 2011. I'm gonna make a, a channel, YouTube, uh, the accumulation of all my, um, basically all my equipment and all that stuff. Now, 
I like I said, guys. I I didn't play so many games when I was a kid. Uh, the the constant ones were either Pokemon or you know sports games because I was a very sporty guy. How I played Pokemon games was very simple. I had my friend, uh, my friend slash brother right here. I call him my brother because yep, yeah, we've known each other for a long time. I'm gonna actually get a seat right here because it's gonna be a while. So my friend slash brother right here actually helped me out by you know leaving me his Game Boy and that's how I played most of the Pokemon games granted I was being a little selfish myself uh, capturing whatever Pokemon I have or Pokemon that I wanted you know that's how I learned how to play these games and all that stuff and that's you know what got me obsessed with all these games and I did mention growing up it you know it took a pause I did take a pause from playing all these games because Let's see, if you give him a hundred, he will actually give you experience candy. So, yeah, a lot of these guys can actually do that for you. Alrighty, so he will disappear. Like I said, uh, I did take a time time off from playing Pokemon games and all that stuff because I got into sports eventually. I, you know, I started playing football, started doing weightlifting and all that stuff, guys. So, most of my time was being taken by that school and everything. I, I can't remember, I can't remember a time where I actually played Pokemon games during high school. I really, I really can't. Actually, I was, yeah. I was and still am a pretty big jock, but these games right here, you know, I, I obsessed. Very, very obsessed with these games. And I believe it was like right there in the middle of college where I just, you know, it rekindled. I wanted to see what these games were all about, like what kind of changes they were made. Hence me going into, you know, Light Dark Neutral's channel. And then going into Luroy's channel right there too. Eventually, I discovered channels like Super Skarmory, where I believe it was him that started the whole background slash uh, sidebar thing. And from there that actually inspired me from that actually inspired me to actually make backgrounds of my own. Didn't know how to use uh, Photoshop, didn't know how to use anything Photoshop related, but that's where the whole Photoshop came into effect. And like I said before, guys, uh, because of this, because of, you know, doing Pokemon walkthroughs and all that stuff, it actually gave me more knowledge doing video making. Uh, it helped me, it helped me with, uh, you know, editing uh, pictures, you know, Photoshop and all that stuff. Uh, for those who don't know, I actually... I'm actually a uh, well. I'm actually a personal trainer, and I actually do fo uh, football uniform designs myself. And it all came from just you know doing a Pokemon walkthrough channel. You got I got to learn a lot of things from just doing this myself. So yeah, guys, <laughs> the, uh, believe it or not, this actually helped with a lot of my uh, a lot of my stuff. And uh, look at that Balto's learning moves right here. So you know. I'm actually very thankful because they actually opened up a few doors, uh, for, you know, for side jobs and all that stuff, guys. So, yeah, that's that's the big thing on that. And then, uh, well, eventually when I when it came time for like you know for me to actually get more subscribers and all that stuff, you know, it, it, you know, like I said, guys, it's a grind just trying to get subscribers, trying to get the content out and all that stuff, and. How in the heck did I manage to get these subscribers? I don't know. Probably because, you know, I did similar contact to Light, Light Dark Neutral. I tried emulating him the best way possible from intros to outros and all that stuff. And, uh, well, it came down to a point where, like, now, uh, you know, playing somebody else's music, he got you copyrighted and all that stuff. And then eventually I had to, like, take him out and all that crud. Um,. Let's see, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? I know that I'm, you know, talking you guys' ear off, but I'm just talking, I'm just letting you get, like, I'm just, I'm just letting you guys know, uh, the history of, you know, good old Draven XE711 to gym leader Draven right here. Um, and I know I'm going, like, back and forth and whatnot. Um, uh, let's see. I don't know what else to say, guys, I'm just, like, you know, I'm just being a little emotional and all that stuff and just playing the game right here. I'm just trying to level up the Pokemon. Um, so, let's see. Now, for many of you guys who don't know, yeah, my my channel name was DravenXE711. Uh, 
how that name came to be. Oh, wow, this guy is chasing the crap out of me. And, yeah, we're going to get Pokemon that chase after you guys. That is scary. And look at that. Getting attacked by an Electrike. Okay, so it looks like Raiden wants to come home early, I guess. I don't know. And it is raining. The battlefield's going a little harder than usual. So I'm going to try and capture this guy. Hopefully I don't get paralyzed or whatnot. But he is going to be a little faster than us. So the name Draven XC711 came, I believe, when YouTubers used to put names and letters and all that stuff. Uh, I believe... Let's see. If I remember correctly, the XZ... I think it came from, like, uh, I don't know what it was. <laughs> really don't know. I think I think the Z came from, like, me eventually playing Dragon Ball Z, which that was a complete failure. And the X, I do not know, but 7-Eleven is, of course, the, the numbers of my birthday. So here we have Electrike. It stores static electricity in its fur for discharging. It gives off sparks if a storm approaches. So it kind of, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it explains a lot. So as many of you guys already know, I'm going to be naming this guy Raiden because we did have this guy in Pokemon Emerald. Again, I'm building up the team and I'm actually going to, you know, level them up and have a nice, you know, array of Pokemon for my teams and all that stuff. So we're going to send this guy to the box. Let's get out of here. So I think that's where it came from, guys. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. See, they're going to follow you. Uh, <laughs> all right, well, let's go ahead and capture this Wingle right here. So, yeah, um, that's where that name came from. Now, the name Gym Leader Draven eventually came, like, early on, back in 2014 when I was training a client, and they happened to notice, they happened to notice uh, that, you know, I was a YouTuber, and this guy was a big Pokemon fan himself. He eventually said that, you know what, you should name yourself, you should name yourself Gym Leader Draven because look at you, you're in a gym, you're a personal trainer, uh, and you're training us, kind of like Pokemon. That should be more of an appropriate name since, you know, YouTube and all that crud. Thought about it, wish I could, but I didn't want to budge on the name or anything like that. And of course, this came all in a time where like I was very, very ignorant of, you know, the simple stuff in YouTubing, Poketubing. So here we have Wingle. It makes its nest ne uh, on sheer cliffs, riding the sea breeze. It glides up into expansive skies. Holy crud. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here. And what I mean, guys, being a little ignorant... Oh, crap, there's a haunter right there. Yeah, do you not want to mess with that guy right there? All right, so let's grab this right here. And Oh, wow. You see? They're going to be running after you. So let's go right ahead and have... Oh, wow. Let's go right ahead and have another Dynamax battling close by to Moto Stoke right here. And wow, these guys are going to be popping out everywhere. Um, so let's see. This guy is a psychic and flying type Pokemon. Oh, gee, I wonder what Pokemon this could be. So let's see. Let's go ahead and switch out a Pokemon right here. And do I have a Pokemon good enough for this guy? Well, let's see. Check the summary. I would like to use Eevee because... Uh, Let's see. Oh, it doesn't have a it doesn't have any of those moves. Let's see. Um Shadow Blade. Screw it. Let's use Shadow Blade right here. Yeah, let's go ahead and choose Shadow Blade and uh see what what happens right here. Or oh, actually, you know what? Crap! Okay. Let's go back at it again. It is an electric type Pokemon, so let's go ahead and switch out right here. Or a a gra or psychic, psychic type Pokemon. Let's go ahead and use Balto right here since it does have an actual an electric type attack to use. So, yeah, I'm not communicating with anybody. You're not going to be finding anybody, so let's go ahead and get ready for battle right here. Alrighty. So, like I said, guys, there was a there was a time where I was actually being very ignorant of, you know, Pokemon stuff. Uh, like nicknames. Uh, my actual name, the content that I'm creating and all that stuff. I was just very, very ignorant on a lot of the things that I was doing because I kind of wanted to do it my way. I refused to evolve and that kind of, that was kind of the downfall right there at the beginning. So let's go ahead and Dynamax and use that Max Lightning right there. 
Uh, eventually, I guess it was like, what, six years into my Pokemon YouTubing career that, you know, I, I got bored. I got bored, I got really tired, I was doing erratic things like erasing YouTube videos, making new, new walkthroughs and all that stuff, not not actually like, you know, managing my, my walkthroughs the way they should be, and holy crap, he just kicked the crap out of this guy right here, and uh, wow, okay, so, oh crap, so there's one Pokemon. Okay, so we gotta beat this guy quickly, because its storm is raging a little harder right here. There we go, Fire Lash, not much of an attack right there, but it does lower its defense, so here comes a Waterfall attack. Wow, mix of Fire and Water, and here we go, Max Lightning, all the elements in one! Look at that, okay, so... Okay, so we're, we're going somewhere with this. And I believe you have to beat this guy in ten turns, I believe, I don't know. Okay, so let's try this one more time. So, like I was saying, guys, uh... Ah, oh, crap. Okay, so he's saved. Ah, oh, crap. So, yeah, this Natu is, uh, not joking around right now. So, yeah, uh... There was a time where I was just doing erratic things, and many of you guys could call me out on it. Many of you guys probably do remember, uh, this, this period of my, my YouTube channel where I was just being very, very ignorant. Uh, I was doing a lot of erratic stuff with my channel, like coming out with new videos, deleting them, all that crap because, uh, yeah, you know, I was very, very bored. Didn't know what to do with the YouTube channel and all that stuff. Uh, there was e there was even a point where my numbers got stagnant and I just, you know, I wasn't getting any more, you know, subscribers or any of that stuff. And then came the time where I broke my leg broke my ankle playing football and that was right around the time where I was actually taking multiple breaks and that's where everything just you know paused I gave up on everything I didn't really care what I was doing on my channel hell there was even a point in time where I actually I was actually doing Pokemon Platinum and Pokemon Soul Silver at one like a singular time and it took me four years to complete that game the both those games you guys know what I'm talking about so that's what happened right there, and you know, uh, like eventually, you know, eventually it just like you know it boiled over, guys. I got really, really stagnant. I got really, really, you know, bored, very, very worn out. That I decided that you know what, screw it. I don't really care about my channel anymore. If they like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. So. That's what ended up happening right there, guys. Look at that. We got a tri-attack. Oh, snap. So, eventually I took a nice extended break just to heal up, just to get better. I'm pretty sure many of you guys already remember this whole thing right here. And, you know, it, it just it just didn't really cut it anymore. Like, I was actually creating videos. I actually finished some walkthrough videos, uh, like when I focused on one and that's when I realized that hey man like maybe doing one walkthrough video at a time is the best route to go and would you look at that huh there's another trainer right here so let's go ahead and heal up right here and that's what pretty much you know that was pretty much a, a, an indicator of you know that was an indicator of me knowing to like knowing my limits and all that stuff and that was that hey you need to do one video or one walkthrough at a time and then once you get more of like once you get more time to do things then go off with the multiple videos and uh, let's see flush with okay so we're gonna be battling this chick right here alrighty we're gonna be battling guys look at this breeder Chloe and look at that they come out with different pokeballs and stuff Wow, I probably should have battled her first before the other one. Okay, so she does have a Grookey at level 13, so this should be a little bit easier. And since I do have a Slash now, should be a little quicker now. Look at that. Half the HP and all that stuff, and here comes a Branch Poke. So yeah, guys, um, so I got a little worn out in 2016. And that was the point where I decided that, you know what, I probably should quit. I'm not going to make it at 10 years. I'm just going to leave my channel how it is. But then I started making videos again. 
And I started noticing that if I started doing videos, you know, just one walkthrough at a time, I could get things done a little quicker, which, you know, and look at that. She, Aaliyah's learning Electro Ball. Cool. Okay, so take away that Growl attack. Then that's when the idea of making a new channel and trying to see if I can regain those those uh regain those uh subscribers back would work. Hence the whole gym leader Draven being born in 2017. I remember announcing this around my birthday that I was leaving Draven XC711 for gym leader Draven, and from there, from there it would be you know. The plan would be, it's actually going to be, this channel is going to go the way I initially wanted it to go, and that is, you know, go in the linear version, which is going from Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, Sinnoh, Unova, uh, Kalos, and Alola, and wherever we land. And so far, I did a good job of it. I made it to Johto, and then one December morning, I, oh, uh, crud. It's embarrassing. I don't even know. And this is why, this is why, when I'm saying this right now, guys, make sure to change up your password every single time because some people could hack and then some people could just do some fucked up things to your, uh, to your channels. But because I had so, like, so many accounts under the same password, same password and same, uh, whatchamacallit, same password and same email, I got my Gym Leader Draven channel hacked into and then somebody did a cruel joke and just deleted the crap out of the channel. And that was a huge setback because I actually did have a nice momentum going. The channel was getting, cli uh, not clients, but was getting, uh, you know, subscribers. I was getting momentum, and I was actually liking the way the channel was going, even though I didn't have as many subscribers as I did in Draven XC711. And, uh, yes, we're getting money. Okay. So, yeah, like I was saying, guys, got that channel deleted, and from there I was like, Again, the thought of quitting came into my head. And then I realized that, you know what? I can't just quit. I really can't. Like, I don't know. There was something in me that was telling me that, you know what? I, I just can't quit because it's not in me. Like, I never quit. And I should not quit. So, let's go back to the original channel. Where I started this whole thing. And... You know, it's up to me. It's up to me. Either I delete the, I delete the videos that you know I started with. What the hell is that? Oh crap! This, oh god, these guys are like running after me. I delete the videos that I started off with that channel, or I, oh wow, this thing. Oh, I could shake this. I could delete the videos and re-upload the, re like re-upload the ones that I had in the original Gym Leader Draven channel, or. Rap baskets. Battle this Pokemon right here. Oh, it's a Truby. Oh, I'm gonna capture this guy. Uh, or keep the same videos that I've had for quite some time. That they have like 10,000 views already, and just upload these videos and you know have all you subscribers just be angry at me because why are you doing this again? This is getting annoying. And well, I made the difficult decision to actually. Oh wow. I actually made the difficult decision to delete all the old videos. That meant a thousand videos got a thousand videos got deleted and restart from new. Change the name from Draven XC711 to Gym Leader Draven, and you know start start over new. And I did it. I did it. As many of you guys would, would remember, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I do have a subscriber out there that just comments on all my videos. I believe it's Rat Racer 94. I believe. Shout out to you, buddy. Um, yeah, I deleted all the videos. Everything went back to zero. I re-uploaded the ones that I've actually uh, I put in in the original Gym Leader Draven channel, and then from there I just did a singular, you know, I, I did one walkthrough at a time until you know we got to today where I'm managing to I'm managing at least. Five walkthroughs, I believe. Five, six, including this one. And this is all because of the pandemic and all that stuff. So, I, like, I know that I'm going back and forth with kind of like, you know, the history of this channel, guys. 
I'm just like you know giving the giving you the nitty gritty of like what eventually happened and oh wow main neck trick holy crud. So we're gonna be going to another oh crap another main neck trick. There's a lot of main neck tricks here holy crud. So we're gonna be going to every single Dynamax place right here and then eventually just uh, oh, a dark and fighting type Pokemon. What could it? Oh, it's a Scrabby. All right. Um, let's see. Let me go ahead and switch out this Pokemon right here. Let's go with P-Dove since it's at level 16. And don't invite anybody. So, let's see. What Pokemon is this? Please tell me it's Shatter, because if it is, then holy crap. This game is treating me better than Shield. And it is! Oh, we're going to find Shatter right here. Okay. Look at this little guy. Probably should have called him Cholo or something, because, you know, he holds his... He holds his, uh, his, pant his pantaloons like a Cholo. All right, here we go. Max Airstream, Max uh, Dynamax right here. Yeah, guys, uh, you know, I know that it was a huge gamble just to, um, you know, it was a huge gamble deleting all the videos that I've, had, I've already had established for this channel. And I know that, you know, a lot, like, a lot of Union subscribers are probably going to be like, oh, well, where are all these videos? Why can't we see them or anything? Well, it was a huge gamble, and I just and I and for me it was for the best because uh, you know I didn't like the way I made them. I really didn't. There was always one thing in my head that like I just didn't like the way I made all these videos. And wow, this Scraggy is gonna be tough to beat. And look at that. Okay, so we're increasing a little bit more on our on our speed right there. All right, come on guys, help me out here. But, like, I, I know it was a gamble, but, like I said, I just didn't like the way I made these videos because they were so, they were so random. Like, I guess that, that's how you could say it. They were so random on how I made them. Like, different intros, multiple intros, crappy outros, and look at that. Scraggy has been defeated. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Let's catch this guy. No, I don't have any other Pokeball. So let's go right ahead and just catch this guy. Okay, so it looks like we're getting we're getting our team together. The band is coming back, and the majority is coming from Unova. Look at this. Okay. One. Two. And let's get them. And three. Okay. All righty. Alrighty, so we're really capturing some Pokemon right here. Alright, so Scraggy, what are you giving me? Aurora Sphere? Oh man. Okay. Alrighty, so. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely liking Pokemon Shield now. <laughs> so, as you can see, Scraggy, the shedding Pokemon, dark and fighting type Pokemon, if it locks eyes with you, watch out. Nothing in, in no one is safe from its reckless headbutts and this troublesome Pokemon. Okay. So. Yes, we are going to nickname this guy, and if you guys don't remember, in Pokemon Black, we got this guy, nicknamed him Shedder, so that is exactly what the nickname is going to be. The band is coming back together, guys. Holy crud. My fortunes in Pokemon Sword, in Sword uh, Pokemon Sword is uh, coming out a little bit better than, than, than usual. Now, let's see. I would like to use him, but I would like to put him somewhere. You know what? We're going to keep him in the box. Like I said, guys, I kind of want to use native Pokemon first for, like, the first two gym badges. And then after that, just use everybody else in between. So, there we go. We captured another Pokemon from our original teams. And now, we're just going to be going uh, going around and just, like, looking for battles and everything. So, here we are in the... the wow. We're in two locations. Look at that. The West Lake Axwell. We can eventually go into that little island once we get the, the modifications to our bike right there. And, well, let's see. There's a lot of lightning. Let's go right ahead and uh, go into the other areas right here where we can actually some, find some Pokemon. Now, like I was saying, guys, the main reason to why I deleted all, like, 1,600 videos was because I just didn't like the way I, I made them. Like, I always had it in my head that, you know, if I'm going to be doing something, I better, do, uh, better be doing them right. And so far... So far, with the walkthroughs that I have actually established here, since I've deleted the, the original ones, 
I feel like I did them all. I, I feel like I did them right. Granted, my first three walkthroughs, I probably have loud outros. Trust me, guys, I've listened to you guys' complaints, and I'm very sorry about that. But I feel like I've done them right, and there's no need for me to do them again, you know, narr narration-wise. That's why right now you guys are seeing some a lot of my walkthroughs in non-narrated, because I want to be... I want to have this channel, like, if I choose to leave this channel, uh, like, very, very soon. But if I choose to leave this channel, I will have le left this channel with a wide array of walkthroughs that you can actually watch. Narrated and non-narrated. That way you guys can actually have a guide of whatever games you want to actually play for Pokemon. And look at that. We're getting more experience points, but the most important part right here is we're getting wattage. Now, what I have to do is I gotta heal my Pokemon right here because... Yeah, we're getting paralyzed like nobody's business. Alrighty, so... Let's move on right here. Again, you can find some uh, hidden items. They're, they're just sparkling. Most of the most of the items that you're going to be finding right here near the trees, they are... Oh, look at that! Pikachu! Alright, Pikachu. Alright, Pikachu. Come to me! And look at that, we are encountering a Pikachu, and it is a male, so you guys already know what I'm looking at. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring, but guess what, I'm going to capture this guy because it is a male, and we already know... We already know what Pokemon, or... We already know what po what nickname we're going to be giving this guy, so... Let's go ahead and poke this guy with a branch. It's at level 15, by the way, and wow. Again, we're getting paralyzed like nobody's business. Alrighty, so here comes a double team. Wow, how long have we been doing this video? I don't know. Yeah, not going to work at all. So let's see, another double team, and uh, yeah, this guy's not giving us a chance right now. We probably should have taught somebody some fucking uh, swift attack, and yeah, we're going to throw a Pokeball at it. Alright, come on, Pikachu. One. Ah, oh, balls! Okay, so, yeah, this guy is not giving us a shot because he's already used Double Team quite a few times, and, uh, come on! Stay in the ball, man. I know you want to stay in that ball. It's a pretty strong poke Pikachu right here. Three, and... Yes! So there it is, guys. We caught ourselves another Pikachu, but a male one, and our Pikachu right here is growing levels, which is great. Look at that. This is what this episode's for, guys. For me to talk about my history of my channel and, you know, to level up my Pokemon since we never really see that. A lot of you guys question the methods and stuff. Here we go. Let's go. Let's get this guy. We already know what he's going to be named. Sparky. All right. We welcome back. So, so far, we've captured plant like a majority of our Pokemon that, you know... Yeah, a majority of our Pokemon that have been on previous teams right here. So, we're just going to send this guy to the box... And let's move on right here. Okay, is there an item right here? Nothing, okay. So yes, yes, you gotta love... You guys gotta love... Well, if there's anything that, you know, I would, I would say that you can appreciate from me is that, you know... My willingness to entertain every single one of you guys. Um, trust me guys, it, it takes a lot of nerve and it takes a lot... Of patience to do all these videos like every single time I I think of like you know doing a video like this or going back to a Pokemon walk that I've done before I you know I <laughs> you know I just uh, sometimes I get a little lazy because it's like dude I've done this before many many, many times but the other part of this whole thing is that you know Again, I want to make this channel as complete as possible for whenever I leave, I can just, like, you know, I can leave something good. And there we go. We got all our berries. Do not want to risk it anymore right there. Okay, so look at that. We're getting more berries than anybody else. All right, so let's see. Again, I got another Pokemon that's paralyzed, so let's go ahead and heal him and switch him out. And that will be that. Okay, so... Oh, look at that little Pancham is trying to... Look at that. Running like little Naruto. Okay, eh. 
All right, let's go ahead and capture this guy. So yeah, I get little lazy guys, little lazy, but you know, as of right now, I am actually very, very proud of the way I made my walkthroughs. Now, this year alone has been uh, quite an emotional one for all of us right here because, you know, COVID-19, uh, as I'm speaking right now, they have just distributed the vaccine, so they say, and because of this, this, this whole pandemic, it's given me the opportunity to, you know, come out with so many more walkthroughs. I mean, I think I finished, I think I finished six walkthroughs, maybe even more. I came out with a hack game, Pokemon Li Liquid Crystal, which pretty much annoyed me to death. Um, hell, uh, I finished up Pokemon X and Pokemon Auras. Well, not kind of finished Pokemon X yet, but we'll eventually get there, but... Yeah, like, holy crap, I... Like, the, like as, I'm, as I'm, like, speaking right now, I'm kind of, like, looking back to every single thing that we've done this year, and I've, I, I'm, like, I'm, I'm amazed. I am amazed with the amount of walkthroughs that I've actually come out with in the past few months. And it's all because of this, this whole pandemic. And, well, she is going to give you something for 100 watts, and she will give you three big pearls, which, of course, will give you a little bit more money. Yes, we're going to be rich. Rich in no time, guys. Yeah, we've, uh... Holy crud, we've, uh... Yeah, we've made a, we've made a, lot, of, a lot of progress. Lots and lots of progress when it comes to walkthroughs and everything, which has led me to this. Now... The original plan, as many of you guys already know, was that, you know, I was going to come out with Pokemon Sun and Moon. That didn't come to fruition because of, uh, you know, equipment failure and all that stuff. But eventually I will get to it, somehow, some way. I'll try and find a computer that will actually help me out and all that crud. But, in the meantime, you know, just enjoy this walkthrough right here, guys. Enjoy it, because I never really, I never really thought that I was actually going to be you know, up to date with any of these walkthroughs right here. I actually thought I was going to be coming into Pokemon Sword. Pokemon Sword and Shield. Like, I want to say February, March. Because I was actually planning on doing 20 episodes for this, you know, the anniversary. And, you know, when all, like, when everything malfunctioned, I just realized that, you know what, screw it. Let's just go right ahead and give what everybody wants, and that is, you know, playing Pokemon Sword and Shield. And, you know, I'm not regretting the decision. I really am. I'm actually glad that, you know, we kind of, like, our equipment doesn't work because at least we're up to date now. At least we're with the times, with all you guys. And then eventually, you know, when we get to the, you know, the expansion pack and all that stuff, when it's called the Crown Tundra, then... That's when I get. It, that's when it will get interesting and stuff. And then hopefully, hopefully, just hopefully, when we get to the uh, when there are new games, because there will be new games. There will always be new games. We will be right there on top of it, ready to kick some ass as well. And well, here we are battling some more Pokemon. And it's an oddish that we have yet to capture. So yeah, might as well capture it right now while we're having a chance. And yes, we're using P Dove. Alrighty. <laughs> Look at this guy. Looking like the birds that take a shit on your shoulder right here. <laughs> Alrighty. And Eevee, of course, using its helping hand right here. Alrighty. Look at that. And here comes the Max Ooze right here. And... Wow, it's trying to take out Halucha first. And, well, this guy's special attack has risen, so now it's my turn. Here we go with a max airstream, and... Alrighty, so it's going to be weakening this guy just a tad bit more. And we're increasing our speed, I believe. Yeah. Alright, throw, please. Okay, alrighty. Doing it again. And... Alrighty, so here we go. Max Airstream for the win. And there goes Oddish. What now? 
Okay, so we're going to be capturing this guy. Let's go right ahead and not waste all our Pokeballs. And let's go ahead and capture this guy right here. Probably should have bought some more Pokeballs from the other people, you know, for the BPs and whatnot. Alrighty. There it is. One. Two. And... Three. There we go. What's up? It's me, your new trainer, Oddish. Thank you for coming to the team. Yes, sir. Okay, and crap. I didn't even get a chance to see what, what I got. <laughs> got a little trigger happy right there, guys. And, well, it is a weed Pokemon. If exposed to the moonlight, it starts to move. It roams far wide at night to scatter its seeds. Okay, alrighty. And we will be sending you to the PC. So, well, let's actually go to the go to my bag and see what we got. There's a lot of stuff that we actually found right here. So let's see. Pokeballs, Poke Dolls. We got a lot of berries. Trust me, guys, you're going to get a lot of berries when it, when it comes to these Dynamax Pokemon. Uh, the candies, on the other hand, you're going to be getting a lot of the extra smalls and smalls. But eventually, when you get more Pokemon, uh, or when you get more, uh, what, whatchamacallit, gym badges, it will start to increase just a little bit more. And let me actually sort this whole thing right here. So let's go ahead and go by number. So, so far we've gotten four TMs right here. Pretty good ones. And then here we have Tri-Attack, which none of my Pokemon can learn. Sleep Talk, Dragon Claw, Aurora Sphere, which is a dang good move. Seed Bomb. Seriously? Optimus can't learn that? Wow. Or it's the leveling. I don't even know. Here we have Drill Run, Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam, I should say. Comment down below, guys. Uh, the amount of gym badges actually affects the TRs, too. So, I kind of want to know because that kind of seems a little weird to me that seed uh, that Optimus can't learn Seed Bomb. Including Aurora Spear or anything like that. So, comment down below, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Alright, so, let's continue on right here. we still got a few more things to do. Or, yeah, just a few more. Yeah, there's a, there's a few more spots that I kind of want to go before I even get to Motostoke. And here we have more Rossberries. There's two. And we're not even going to shake it anymore because I kind of feel like we're going to get attacked again. Alright, so let's see. Not doing that. There's some Hoot Hoot. kind of want to capture those guys. And, well, let's go right ahead and... Grab some more wattage right here. Look at that. Okay. So yeah, guys. Um, you know, ten years. Ten years have gone by, and you know, I'm looking back at everything that I have done. Okay. And, and it's it, it's you know it's kind of like the saying if for those who have grown up and all that stuff or are still learning learning the life. Everything happens for a reason. Uh, you learn from your mistakes, you learn from all the errors, and you get better at it. And, you know, I'm not going to lie, I did learn from all my mistakes, and look at that Pokemon right there. I want to capture him, but I kind of feel like he's going to be strong. So I'm not going to risk it right now. And, well, look at that, Ghost-type Pokemon. But yeah, like... You, you learn, you live, you learn, you make mistakes, you get better at it, and I kind of feel like I've done that, hence the whole, you know, like, you know, my whole walkthroughs and all that stuff. And, yes, I do want that rare item, and we get ourselves three more experience candies. Okay. Okay, so, that's good right there, and let's go ahead and grab some more, some more, uh, pokey food right here. One. All right. Two, and you know what? I'm going to take the risk. Three. Alrighty, so no more. Yeah, we're getting some items right here, guys. So yeah, um... I feel like I'm... Uh, like, Obviously, I, I feel like I'm a better YouTuber now than I once was when I first started. I'm a little more, uh, I'm a little more confident with my, sp like with my speaking right here. Granted, you know, my, my whole uh, reading sucks. It sucks, and I and I am sorry, guys. You know, <laughs> played a lot more uh, played a lot more football than I read and all that stuff. So I do apologize for like the 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 bad reading and whatnot. It will get better as I start reading more books and all that huh? stuff. And you know what? I'm going to buy 
10 more heal balls right here, so that way I can have more than just, you know, pokeballs right here. And let's see. Yeah, I'm a little bit more confident. I am, uh, I have no problem saying what's on my mind. That's, you know, something right there that most YouTubers uh, forget that, you know, don't be afraid to be called out and don't be afraid to call out those who call you out for no apparent reason. And I've had quite a few detractors here and there, guys. Uh, as of right now, <laughs> you know, I'm looking at my videos and all that stuff. There is there is a troll out there. Somebody has been disliking my videos every single time. And you know what? It is what it is. I notice those things and it... You know, I just I just tell myself, wow, they're petty enough to dislike every single one of my videos. So, you know what? It is what it is. Dislike my videos if you like to. But it's not going to affect the way I do things right here, especially on my videos. All I can say is this. Hey, thank you for, for, thank you for the view. Thank you for the dislike. And you know what? If you can see the middle finger, here's the middle finger for you. Because that's what I think of you. And, well, let's see. We are going to get some rare items right here. And this guy is giving us experience candies. Now... For those who don't know what an experience candy is, I'm going to show you what's going to happen right here. Now, I don't normally use this because I like to do things naturally in this game. But the, the experience candies right here are basically, you know, rare candies, but quarter, half, and so on and so forth. They're basically like the, the, the vitamins that you find in Pokemon Let's Go, Pikachu, and Eevee. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to give this to, let's see, let's go ahead and give two to my uh, Optimus right here. This will actually give you 200 experience points and look at that, we're at level 16. And because of that, finally evolving. Yeah, buddy. So here it is, our very first evolution to this game. Optimus Prime digivolving to this guy right here with two sticks to Thwacky. Look at this guy. Thwacky. I love that name. Thwacky. And, well, Thwacky, the, the beat Pokemon, grass type Pokemon. The faster a Thwacky can beat out a drum with its two sticks, the more respect it wins from its peers. Wow. Okay, so it's a rhythm Pokemon right there, and it is learning a new move, double hit. A very good move so let's go right ahead and let's go right ahead and take away scratch since we don't really need it anymore right here so that is the effect of the that is the effect of the uh, experience candy now it's extra small so you're gonna get small uh, experience points right here so let's go ahead and show you what happens when you use a small right here now let's go right ahead and give some to let's give some to Balto right here let's give one you give one, you'll get 800 experience points, and look at that. We grew three to four levels, or two levels right there. So that's exactly what happens. The more experience candies you get, the more chances you have to actually grow your Pokemon's levels. Now, I'm going to try and uh, run away from these guys. This guy is following the crap out of me. Holy shoot. Okay. So let's go ahead and grab this. And... Look at that. Okay, so we got these Pokemon trying to look out for me. And, you know, I I do want to capture one of these guys because they will be they will be useful in the long run. And would you look at that? Okay, so we're going to capture two for one because I see somebody that we haven't seen in quite some time and look at that. It's Wooper, aka Lucky. And here we have Thwacky, so ah, crud. I really don't want to make this guy faint, so let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go straight for Michelangelo. And... There we go, Michelangelo. Going with the Mud Shot. And that, of course, will lower our speed right there. So let's go right ahead and go for a Bite Attack. So, so far in this episode right here, guys... We've managed to capture eh, five, maybe, yeah, five or six Pokemon from our original teams and stuff. Granted, Wooper, <laughs> uh, it's an on and off relationship with this guy right here because, yeah, he's good, but then he's not good, but then he's good, but then he's not good. But then he's good. I still love Wooper. Still a good Pokemon. And he will find a home right here. So let's go right ahead and nickname this Pokemon right here. Wooper. The Waterfish Pokemon, this Pokemon lives in cold water. 
it will leave the water to search for food when it goes out, uh, gets cold outside. Probably like right now. So let's go ahead and nickname our good old buddy Lucky right here. It's about damn time. Let's go right ahead and go with Lucky. So this is another Pokemon that we've... <laughs> I'm like really happy about. And actually, I do not want to add him on my team just yet. But he will get some work on those Pokemon jobs. So... Actually, let's go right ahead and take a look at what kind of Pokemon... Or let's go ahead and take a look at what Pokemon we actually have so far. So as you can see, we do have three sets of teams. And what I'm going to do right here is I'm actually going to organize this whole thing. I'm going to organize these guys from the Pokemon that I've actually had in teams. So there we go. That's another one. So... So far, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've we got six Pokemon from uh, different regions that we've had in different teams and all that stuff. So that's that's very very good right there, guys. And so far, it's going to continue growing because we're actually going to get some native Pokemon into this thing too. And well, I'm not going to try and get attacked by any of these Pokemon. So what I'm going to do right now is. I'm going to leave these other Pokemon that are following me for later on. I will capture them off screen. What I need to do right now is I'm actually going to try and get some uh, some wattages and all that stuff. And then get to Motostoke. Th yeah, there is one more battle right there that we need to get to. And that sounds like a Krabby. So we're going to try and evade these guys right here. And grab this. Look at that. More wattage. And grab this person. Of course, she's going to find something else for you. And we get ourselves a big pearl. Again, remember, guys. Uh, you come here every single day. You'll get more and more Pokemon to actually find. More Pokemon to capture and all that stuff. So, let's see. Where else? You know what? Let's go right over to that corner right there. That, in that particular region, you'll actually find some ghost-type Pokemon. If you guys are looking for some. And, well, let's try not to get attacked by these guys right here. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so we're grabbing this. And... I guess going off to the edge is not going to do us any harm right here. Look at that. Oh! And that is a big-ass Pokemon. So you do not want to go up against that guy because... Yeah, it does have a lot of power. And there is a Pokeball right there that is looking at us. Holy crud, this ghost is looking at me. Max revive that we need. Obviously that we need. And there is a, a tree right there. Okay, so I'm trying to get that sparkly thing because there are some sparkly areas right here. And I do believe some of these Pokemon right here are a little bit stronger than usual. So do not want to waste any Poke Dolls. So you will find some ghost type Pokemon right here. There is the boss right there. <laughs> and wow, look at that. Purloin. Okay, okay, so. Yeah, there's nothing else that we can actually find right here. So let's go right ahead and go straight to that Dynamax battle. And then we're going to search out that last region right there towards the corner and then get to Moto Soak. Now, this has been a long episode. Off screen, I will be capturing some more Pokemon, maybe evolving a Pokemon here and there. And there we go. We found ourselves another tiny mushroom. And would you look at that? We found another note. The wild area is overflowing with a special sort of energy measured in watts. You can gather watts yourself from glowing Pokemon dens and then glowing Pokemon in the wild. You'll also find trainers in the wild area who are willing to give you all sorts of items if you just give them uh, some of your watts, which is true. And, well, let's see. Before we battle that girl, let's go ahead and see what we can find here. Nope, just uh, bear Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead. Hmm, there's nothing right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and battle this lady right here. Let's see, she always starts out with a with one of the Pokemon right here. So let's go ahead and start off with Shadow Blade. And let's go ahead and battle. It's crazy. Yes, let's go ahead and battle. Alrighty. So anywho, guys. Uh, yeah, I mean... Just like this, just like this episode right here, my history is a little long, and I mean, again, I'm I'm, I'm very, very, very happy to 
you know, to be part of YouTube and uh, to be entertaining all you guys. Um, the later episodes that we will be seeing right here, uh, it's, I hope it's not going to be that long. I hope. But there will be uh, episodes right here and there that we're going to be seeing some different Pokemon. That's why you don't see any kind of like, you know... And that's why I, I know that like in episode 2, I said that, you know, I was going to come out with a background. Yeah, I kind of thought against it. Sorry about that, guys. First main, first main series that I don't have a background right here. But because we're switching up Pokemon left and right here, or we're going to be switching up Pokemon left and right right here, there is no need for it. There's no need for, you know, to get all fancy. This right here is just showing you guys Pokemon Sword and Shield and all that stuff. So, again, I do apologize about that whole background thing. That will be... Uh, well, hopefully I, that will be sorted out and everything. And, wow. Getting my butt kicked right here. So let's go, Michelangelo. Assert your authority right here. And let's go again with another water gun. And this guy going for a quick attack. And, wow, takes out my Michelangelo. Holy crud. Alright, didn't want to do this, but we're going to be going for Bonesaw right here. Now, some of these Pokemon that you see right now that I captured, they're not going to be on my team very much. I will be training them up just so we can, you know, get some leveling and all that crud. But then eventually they will be evolving off screen. I will have separate teams for separate occasions and all that stuff. Uh... I think in this game right here too, it's actually taught me that there's no main team. There's going to be a variety of Pokemon teams that you're going to want to use for this game and, you know, for competitive battling. Which, you know, it's a first for me because it's like, holy crud, I've never really done that before. And we're going to be switching up right here. Let's go with Aaliyah. Let's have Aaliyah have her way with uh, her Pokemon right here. And, you know, it actually gives me a chance to showcase Pokemon from older versions and all that stuff. Now, let's see, as I'm recording this, as I'm recording this, guys, I am going to take the time to bring in Pokemon left and right, you know, get adjusted, play a little bit of my sword walkthrough, and look at that, okay. Yeah, play a little bit of my sword walkthrough. Just so I can transfer some Pokemon exclusive to Sword. That way, you know, you can see a little bit more and all that stuff. I will be breeding Pokemon off screen. And, I, you know, I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff here, guys. This, 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 like, you don't know how excited I am playing this game right here. Because, you know, the possibilities are endless and all that stuff. So, let's go ahead and revive Michelangelo. And let's go ahead and heal him up right here. Alright, so... I guess my Pokemon are at a decent uh, a decent level right here. Now, here's the entrance. I believe if you talk to one of these two guys, hold on, let's see. This guy will be selling you netball, so I'm going to be spending at least ten. And he does have more powerful attacks. This guy right here, and yes, he's talking about camping. And yes, <laughs> yeah, I have no, I, yeah, like I got no no questions for camping. That's for another time right there. Now, let's see. Off to the distance right there. There is a bridge right there, guys. Cross that bridge and you're going to be seeing a lot more crazier, uh, crazy strong Pokemon right there. And let's see. Yeah, there, there's just a whole bunch of possibilities right here, guys. Lots of possibilities. Lots of teams that you can create. And, you know, it's just getting me very, very excited to just play this game. I think this is, I think this is one of the most exciting games that I'm going to be, or one of the most, uh, I don't know, I kind of want to say this is going to be one of the most in-depth, not in-depth, but one of the most uh, detailed, not detailed, <laughs> I, I don't know how to say it guys, this is probably going to be one of those games that's going to be, going to be here on my channel for quite some time because of all the stuff that it's offering right here, like, Right now, I'm looking at a Purloin. Don't want that Pokemon to attack me. And if you go right here, talk to this guy. I think he's going to tell you about the crossing the bridge. Yeah, the other Pokemon right there, they're going to be so strong. I'm not even going to try, try and cross it. I believe you can actually find a Machamp right there. A Snorlax, obviously, you can find. And there are some more Pokemon right here that you can actually find, like uh, a Delibird. 
<laughs> Just realized that it looks like Santa Claus, the bird version. And, well... Let's see... Yeah, there are some... Yeah, there are some Pokemon right here that I'm having my eye on, and I'm going to be capturing off-screen, so... Do not worry, guys. I'm not skipping out on these guys. I'm just trying to get some wattage, and holy crap, Basket's on a Crapsicle Stick. That guy is strong as hell. So, that is exactly what, uh... That is exactly what my, uh... My Shadow Blade is gonna look like when it finally evolves. And I do not want to mess with that guy right now. So, is it worth it going over there? I don't know. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go back because I do not want to get attacked by these guys. So, anywho, guys. I'm pretty sure I bored you guys with me and talking and everything. So, I'm gonna end it right here with battling that one more Dynamax Pokemon. And then off screen, I'm going to be taking uh, I'm going to be taking care of business by evolving, by capturing more Pokemon, training them up, and all that stuff too. So, yeah. <laughs> Sorry for boring you guys. Um, let's see. Is there anything else I want to say about my 10 year anniversary? I do not know. I do not know. I, I think I've already explained a lot of the stuff that for for you new new subscribers. Yes, my name is Draven Corvone. Uh, I was once Draven XC711, and uh, well, here's my channel. And again, I thank you guys for the 8,000 subscribers uh, that you guys have given me. Uh, last week, we actually crossed that mark. So again, thank you guys for uh, for subscribing. And well, as we're seeing right here, this is a normal type Pokemon. So we're gonna be switching it out right now. And crud. Oh, you know what? I do have the Pokemon for it. Shatter. Okay, so we're going to be using Shatter for this one battle right here. We're not going to be inviting anybody, and let's go right ahead and uh, battle them. So, again, Pokemon Sword has given me a little bit more... Yeah, it's given me a little bit more fortune than... Uh, yeah, it's giving me a little bit more fortune than Pokemon Shield. Probably because, you know, I had to learn from Shield to get to Sword. I do not know. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and start destroying this guy right here. We do have another fighting type Pokemon, so should be quick. Alrighty, here we go. Getting bigger and bigger. Look at that, Shatter. Now with me. Look at this guy. Looking like a Cholo himself. Alrighty, so... Hopefully I am a little faster than this guy, and this guy's using assurance. That's a nice, wow, that's a nice amount, and here we go with Max Knuckle. And, wow, that's the end of that story right there. Probably the quickest one I've had so far, so let's go ahead and capture him with one of our newer Pokeballs right here. So let's go with a Heal Ball, that way I can get healed, and then, you know, you can have it on the storage for some reason. So let's go, Pokeball, Heal Ball, go. Alrighty. We got one. There's the two. Let's get the three, and... Yes, throwing out that peace sign, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. So, we got another Tri-Attack, a Kelpsy Berry, and a quite a few more! Look at that! Okay, so... We're doing alright. I think we're doing alright, guys. Look at that. Bunnelby's data will be added, and uh, yes, I am actually glad that I held out for this guy. Usually, the Dynamax Pokémon are a little bit better than just the regular Pokémon you find around here. And, well, as you can see, this guy is at level 16, its Dynamax level's at 2, and, well... It does have some pretty good attacks, so yes, sir. We did a good job by just holding off for this guy right here. Okay, so... With that being said, I think that's the end of that chapter. Oh, wow. There's another one. There's two more. Hold on. Wait just a sec. Oh, wow. They just popped out of nowhere. Huh. Well, it looks like I'm going to be doing a lot... Wow. Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna go there because usually usually when you see a den spew out this kind of energy it usually means a a very very good Pokemon a rare Pokemon's gonna be there and oh crap 
It is not a rare Pokemon, but I... Well, it's kind of... I kind of know what Pokemon we're going to get into. So let's go back to Shatter right here. Let's do one more Dynamax battle. And just continue on right here. So, while we're doing this... Let's go ahead and talk about... Well, the last thing on my list right here. I don't really have a list, but yeah. Look at that. Kiss. Zigzagoon. Look at that. Okay. So, as many of you guys would already notice, I have been... I have been uh, uploading more videos. A lot of non-narrated videos, and that is because my buddy from Pokemon, Poke Adventures HD, who is my roommate, can't do this whole video thing anymore because he's so busy with pandemic and, you know, being a nurse and all that stuff. So I've taken the reins in making these videos. That's why I've uploaded right here onto my channel. With that being said, a lot of the videos that you're seeing right now, I've actually taken care of during my little break in between, you know, November to right now. So, if you guys are wondering, oh great, Raven is up to his old tricks where he can't manage one freaking walkthrough. Yeah, that's not going to be it because I've already finished Pokemon Sapphire. I've already finished Fire Red. Hell, I'm only working on Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and wow. <laughs> that was easy. Yeah, that was... That was really easy, and again, I'm actually glad I held out for this one, so let's go with another heal ball right here. Okay. Alrighty, so... Let's go right ahead... And capture this guy, and... Alrighty. Look at that. And... Three. Look at that, okay. So, we caught ourselves in a Galarian Zigzagoon. And, as you can see, this guy is a little special because uh, it does have Throat Chop and everything, but it does give us a, quite a few, uh, quite a few things. <laughs> well, quite a few, uh, well, quite a few uh, experience candies and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and take a look at this new Pokemon right here. Alright, so here we have Galarian Zigzagoon. As you probably can tell, this guy is in black and white. Kind of looks like the band Kiss right here. It's a tiny raccoon Pokemon. Its restlessness has it constantly running around. If it sees another Pokemon, it will purposely run into them in order to start a fight. And, holy crud, man. If you guys don't know, I am a big fan of Kiss. Big, big fan. I wanted to name this guy Gene Simmons, like Gene, after Gene Simmons, but... <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like it doesn't look like Gene Simmons right now. So, what I'm going to be naming this guy, I'm going to be naming this guy Paul, after Paul Stanley, the star child. So, let's go right ahead and name this guy Paul. I may or may not be using him on my team every so often. I don't know, kind of... Want to evolve him into Lanoon. Believe it or not, in this walkthrough right here, or in this game, you can evolve him into its third form. I can't remember what it was called, but... Yeah. It's a pretty good Pokemon right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at its summary. As you can see, it's a female. Level 19. And it does have Gluttony. Makes Pokemon... Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. And it does have some pretty good moves right here. It is a dark and normal type Pokemon. So, yeah. It's a pretty good Pokemon... They actually have for your collection and all that stuff. So, that is that. We do have a lot more spots to actually get to. But I think I've already... Yeah, I think I've already, uh... You know, overstayed my welcome. Like I said, I'm going to be capturing these guys off-screen just so I can increase my uh, collection right here. So now, what I was saying, guys, the non-narrated non walkthroughs are just for the, the extra thing, like the extra content right there. Uh... My main games will be Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Heart Gold. As many of you guys have already told me, uh, I haven't done anything with Heart Gold yet because, well, I've been totally busy with the non-narrated walkthroughs. But I will be returning to Pokemon Heart Gold pretty soon here. Now, I don't know if I... Yeah, in the last episode, I did announce this. 
Uh, Pokemon Heart Gold will be a post-con walkthrough now because if you guys haven't noticed, yeah, it, it kind of sounds a little laggy, a little draggy. You know, I can go on and just rhyme and stuff. So what's going to happen is that I'm going to do this as a post-com game. That way it, it sounds a little bit better and we can get through it a little bit quicker. Granted that, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's going to take a while for to do all the, the whole thing, but it will get done. And, well, as you can see right here, guys, we are in Motostoked, uh, well, don't really want to call it Motostoked Town or City, but here is Motostoke. And this is the home of, uh, well, the not the Pokemon League, but the Gym Challenge, where it all begins again. And, wow, it is a very, very nice location. So, what's going to happen right here, guys, is we're going to be pausing our game. And before we do anything, Sonya's going to call us over. He's like, hey, over here. And it is Sonya. And she's going to be like, real ace of you to make it through the wild area. Seems like you trek ran a, you trek ran a Pokemon Ragged, though, so you should just pop into the Pokemon Center. Besides, there's something in there that I bet you'll get a kick out of if you're a real trainer and all. Hmm. Okay, so what is what is this whole new thing right here? So here we are into the Pokemon Center. Now, as you can see, she's going to be explaining it to us to the PC. Oh, it looks like Rot Rotomi's free. Rotomi are a kind of Rotom information service. It's a handy machine for trainers. You could even use one to customize your Pokemon League card. Why don't you try playing around with your League card a bit, Draven? Here's a sample for you. And here is our very first Pokemon League card. Which will help us, uh, you know, inform us of, of different trainers right here. Now, Pokemon Lee cards right here show off achievements by making a Pokemon Lee card. You can customize your card by using a card maker found in every Pokemon Center. Doing so will also update your card and the latest information. Trainers will have their own Lee cards, and you can swap cards with other trainers that you can connect with using communication features. You can view them all, but all the Lee cards you've collected by checking out your album. Which you can find in the League Card option of the X menu. But Motostoke sure is big, right? Not to worry, Sonya's here to show you around a bit. Come find me after you heal up your Pokemon. Which will be in the next episode. The opening ceremony, huh? I get a bit worked up when I think about how exciting the moving it has. Uh, it was actually stand on a stadium's pitch for the first time. Huh. The pitch. It's usually for uh, soccer. Or football in the other world right here. So, anywho, guys. This is where we'll stop this whole uh, episode. I know it's been long. And I know that, you know, maybe I dragged it by talking about my history. But I feel like many of you guys who don't know me need to know what it is. And what makes this whole thing special. So, like I was explaining to you guys. Pokemon Sword is my main game. With narration and Pokemon Heart Gold, and Heart Gold will be a postcom game for now on. Uh, other games that I'm thinking of that will be postcom will be Pokemon Coliseum and Pokemon Dark Gale, uh, Dark Gale of. Uh, let's see, let me see. I got the game right here. <laughs> pretty, uh, pretty, pretty stupid of me. Dark Gale of uh, Darkness or whatever. Gale of Darkness. That's what it's called. Yes, those are games that will be postcom and everything. And uh, well. Hopefully, we will get to them pretty soon here. Um, anything else, guys? Anything else? Well, uh, let's see. Again, thank you for a 10-year anniversary, guys. This is episode 5. In the next episode, we will be getting through Motostoke. It won't be as long as it once, like it was uh, right here. Uh, and then that's when the real adventure will start. But off-screen, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to capture as many Pokemon as possible. I'm going to try and transfer Pokemon here and there. And eventually, you guys are going to be seeing a quite a good, uh, quite a good adventure right here. But other than that, guys, I'm done talking. I'm pretty sure you, many of you guys are done hearing me. Thank you again for another episode. Thank you guys again for 10 years, and thank you guys for 8,000 subscribers. I will be back for another episode of Pokemon Sword right here on my Gym Leader Draven channel. See you guys.